Hi, I'm Tim Woody, a biologist with Carolina Biological Supply Company, and today I'm going to show you how to receive and care for your tadpoles. Have plenty of room temperature water on hand for the tadpoles. Use spring water or tap water. Most tap water now contains chloramines to improve drinking water quality. However, chloramines will kill your tadpoles and most aquatic organisms. Tap water must be treated with a dechlorinator that removes chloramines. Prepare your water before you receive your tadpoles. Also, prepare a habitat for your tadpoles. Rinse the container well, but avoid soap or cleaners. Tadpoles do best in shallow water. Allow one gallon of water for about 30 small tadpoles. Xenopus tadpoles require deeper water, about four to eight inches deep. Don't use an aquarium filter, as these may suck in the tadpoles and harm them. However, an air stone may help to oxygenate the water and keep it fresh. Now you're ready for your tadpoles. When your tadpoles arrive, open the box immediately and inspect the bags. Float the sealed bag in the tank of treated water for 15 minutes to begin the acclimation process. After 15 minutes, remove about one quarter of the water from the bag and replace it with an equal amount of treated water and allow the bag to sit for 10 minutes. Use two separate cups, one for scooping out the shipping water and one for adding the treated tap water or spring water. Repeat this every 10 minutes for one hour. At the end of the acclimation process, use a net to scoop out the tadpoles and place them in their new home. Avoid transferring any of the shipping water. Feed Carolina tadpole food or regular fish food. Don't feed more than they will eat in a few hours. Other foods include algae and boiled lettuce. Feed tadpoles in the morning and remove any uneaten food in the afternoon. Keep the water fresh by replacing one quarter of the water with treated tap water two times a week or more often if the water becomes cloudy or begins to smell bad. As your tadpoles grow in size, separate them into more habitats to prevent overcrowding. Also, for more information, check out our care sheets at www.carolina.com.